This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 697. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Yes, I have to look at the sign in the window to remember where I am. That's where I'm at right now. Uh, but we got a hell of a show going on and some uh, a great crew in here and, uh, and animals. And so we'll get that in a moment. First of all, coming to us from Beacon, New York, he is the only Mayhemmer with uh, a large Lego collection and a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad. Mike? Why is BC still here to see feet? I don't know. <laughs> of course he is. Is he talking about the feet now? Why is he in feet? I accept PayPal, Venmo, <laughs> Cash App. <laughs> what about Bitcoin? Also, Ronnie Starks. Hello, I'm Apparently. currently on the TV right now. Are you? Oh, what match are you refereeing? Is this still the same match? This is um, El Generico, uh, Egotis- or, uh, yeah, Ego- Egotistical Fantastico Egotistical or something. And uh, Super Hentai. And Super Hentai in a three-way. Yes. And I believe wow. you, were, you, were, you were previously refereeing uh, once Ces- the Kings of Wrestling, Cesaro and Hero, yes. against uh, the Founding Fathers. Yes. So this, w- yes. this was a really heavy, Ronnie refereeing day. Is this... <laughs> Well, it was it was a giant tournament, and it was two discs on DVD. And so. I'm sure I pissed off the other referees for refereeing this match. Oh, no. Because I'm pretty sure this was my last IWC show. Oh, no. <laughs> we all have a last IWC show. Uh, anyway, it's actually, actually everybody here does. Um, also yep. with us, Regina's with us, back on the show. And because we promised Dog. And actually, the podcast Dog is hanging out over there. We see him uh, stirring a little bit. He's he's rested for now, which is probably for the best. But he, there he is. Wicked is with us, the podcast dog, um, and he's he's really mad that you woke him up. <laughs> Sorry, so, um, how you doing, Gina? Oh, she's playing with the dog. What? <laughs> how are you doing? I'm I'm all right. You're all right. Our new neighbor here at the studio. I am. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, you can, where you can find links to subscribe to the podcast in video form. And check out our other shows, including the uh, Monday Mayhem Wrestling Wrap-Up, where Mad Mike will show you his uh, his uh, Lego collection. And Hogwarts so, is halfway done. Hogwarts is halfway done, and it is massive. I need to see it. Yes, yes. Well, you're oh, going to have to fine. tune into right. the Monday Monday Mayhem show from last night. Then I will, maybe I can, we'll sneak it. I I'll, 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 I mean, I have it right. We'll here. sneak it between records. That's a different yeah. show. We got to give them yeah. a reason to tune in Mondays, guys. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and subscribe over there. You can also hit us up at that email address. Good times. Good times, Good times oh. at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. And, of course, uh, follow us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show page and group. And we are uh, live over there on Facebook every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Of course, we're also streaming on the indie wrestling.us <laughs> Twitch and page. <laughs> oh no, the dog is the dog is having a problem and he's he's tied up in headphones right now. So <laughs> Okay, need to save you. He's just trying to make his voice heard. So he, he is. He has opinions. Oh, his oh, opinion. is it my turn? Oh, look. Yeah, there you go. All you do is piss him off. There you go. <laughs> he, feels of, he feels offended yeah. by the waste of dog food on SmackDown. Yes. Exa- oh, there's a lot of waste of dog food on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, of course, the conversations happen on our Facebook Live where BC Steel is joining us talking about feet for some reason. Yeah. Charlie is out there. <laughs> Dave Potter is out there. Tina Keys is out there. And so many more joining us right now on the Facebook feed. Her so hop shoes. over there if you want to be part of the conversation if you're on another platform right now. Yeah. Or if you catch us later and have something to say, tweet us at Mayhem yeah. Show with the hashtag six uh hashtag WMS six nine seven if you got something to say. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Just updated a list over here. Thank you for our friends at the fan of the show level. Bo Diggity! Woo! As well as Ed Burke, Bobby F, J Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammerfist. And at the Poppy Club level <laughs> is Bradley Ruthers, Doc Remedy, Dave Ponder, Kyle, Ta- Kyle Turner, and 
back on the Patreon list just in time for Mayhem Mania is Daniel Towery. Welcome back, Daniel Tiger. Uh, and also our friend at the manager level is uh, OccupyProWrestling.com. You guys can support the show and get some gifts and get some fun, some other fun stuff uh, coming up uh, at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> and I guess the obligatory because it was in the chat room. Ooh, Poppy. Um, so... <laughs> You guys have been sharing Dave, a lot. Dave, if you want, we can say that every time we announce you on the Patreon. That could be, too. Like, Ooh, like if, Bradley. If you, like, if <laughs> you pay us, mm-hmm. we will say anything you want after your name. That's, That's how... why we woo after Bo Diggity. Yeah, exactly. Nobody else has given us instructions about their name except for Bo Diggity when he first started at the very beginning, yep. at, 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 the, at the inception of the Patreon level. Uh, mm-hmm. So I would like to boo Bradley Ruthers every time I say his name. Well, no, well, you're you not. To, Patreon. Then you have to pay for Patreon to boo yes. Bradley Ruthers during the Patreon announcements. Sorg, Sorg, That's too when, much. When I join Patreon for Mayhem Mania, yeah, and you will. I always make you al- announce me as like Lord and Master of the show. Yeah, so uh, it was the American yep. Kevin Owens for a while there, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's true. The spoiler of virgins. I actually am kind of back to that point a little bit. Oh, now, there you go. Okay. Yeah, Can you do a sweet Assassin's Creed style round off off of the stage like he did on Monday night? Not only could I do that, I'd also grab the secret tape while doing it. <laughs> you grab the secret, the secret tape? tape? Yeah, or or the or the T letter. I didn't see what was above him. So Okay. For It's... Tony Hawk Pro Skater reference. Oh, right? okay. There I, it is. I'm sorry. All I can think of is Assassin's Creed because that's like all that's been happening in my house well, lately. No, because he didn't go in reverse and he wasn't Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, that's right. He was in that movie. Well, that was yeah. That movie. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was a Disney movie. Are we sure we're not thinking? Yeah. Wait, Assassin's Creed? Are you thinking of or Prince wait, of Persia? Thinking... You're thinking oh, of Prince you're... of Persia. Oh, I might also oh, be Prince thinking of, of Prince of Persia. Go. Oh, okay. I was like, where are you backwards? What are we talking about? All I have is the Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Uh, CD in my head right now. The whole soundtrack. Oh yeah. Right now, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hum too much, or we're gonna have to share with YouTube. Uh, anyways, we'll get marked. We'll get marked, and in and in, in the offspring will mark us. What a bunch of fucking Talk marks on marks. YouTube. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, but th- that was fun though. That was a, a a fun way to use the stage, and also Kevin Owens doing it, and not like Jeff Hardy. You know, there's something weird going on right now. I swear this uh, El Generico is dressing or wrestling like Sami Zayn. It's just really, it's weird. It is odd. And I thought well, El Generico El died in the fire. Was El Generico trained him? Did he? Yeah. No, this is when he was still alive. He didn't die in the orphanage fire. So that's uh, that's good. Is that what that oh. was? The orphanage fire? The, was that what happened to Generico? I think it was. That's why we don't see him anymore? Yeah, he does. No that's sad. Knows. I thought he was going to have an opportunity. He's with Prince Puma somewhere. Prince Puma. <laughs> Prince Puma on an island hunting giant <laughs> spiders and, si- and sipping Mai Tais. It's, uh, with and they're Smalls trying to rescue and, uh, Rey Mysterio from a cage. Yeah, yeah. With Tupac and Biggie Smalls. They're that's right. right that's right. That's where they all are. And Big Rick. <laughs> and Rick. Big Rick. Big Rick in his eyeball. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. It's it's so weird seeing Big Zeke <laughs> matches, uh, you know, back when he had two eyes. Uh, hey, I, I'm surprised Luchasaurus was able to grow his head back. That's true. He <laughs> got be shocked. He got he got legitimately got, shocked. Luchasaurus got be uh, grew his head back and um got two small friends. What I want to know is, did it grow back from the neck, or was? Or was it so long that he just grew an entire new body from his head? That's what I want to know. This has always been the problem I've had with Deadpool. It's possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's the source, right? I'm a big yeah. Luchasaurus source fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, although there was one time I saw Wolverine grow back from basically Adams at one point. That mm-hmm. seemed a little <laughs> weird. Yep. So and they really kind of stretched that. He Majin Buu himself. He did Majin Buu himself, didn't he? <laughs> But without the chocolate. I need to show him my new 8x10s that Missy made. Oh, yeah. Did wait, look? wait. Did she make a Dragon Ball one? Did you see? Oh, I sure. saw the Power Rangers and I saw the oh. Never Ending Story one. There, I'll pull it up. Oh, no. These good guys. Yeah. These good guys 8x10s are getting out of control, guys. No, this is mine. This is yours? Wait, you have your own? Is it yeah. say as seen on the Wrestling Mayhem show? It needs to. But uh... Oh, hold that up to that one there. Oh, uh, I don't. We can't see that. There. He's going up to. I get, we got to describe it for the audio audience. Yes. He's, he's moving. He's on uh, the move. Has anybody seen mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Abridged? Uh, no, no. Mm-hmm. I know you were introduced to it a couple of weeks yes. ago, but uh, let's see, get that a little closer. See if that'll. 
<laughs> hey, you got lean. Hold on, up, oh, too close, too close, too close. <laughs> Pull it out, down a little bit, down a little. You got monitor right to your your left there, buddy. There you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's, I'm, it's I'm waiting. A, I'm, I'm looking at the feed. He's got a very. It's a very small Ronnie head on. Is that an Android? No, that's a Saiyan. That's a. That's one of the Saiyans. Oh yeah. God, you're a menu. It says you're hashtag the... sell merch. Oh Jeez. God. <laughs> You know, Ronnie, did Missy do that? Yeah. Oh, geez. Are Producer. Ronnie, I, I'm, I'm officially calling you Ron Coombe. She hasn't produced this show in like three months, and, yet she, and she's giving you. Yeah. Did you like co out to producer Missy from the Mayhem show? Is that what's happening well, right I now? I like an hour ago, and uh, before I came here, I'm like, hey, can you make these? Did you message <laughs> her an hour ago? I think 8 o'clock, I said, hey, I'm watching this. Can you make me this? And she's like, what yeah, the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Cowery um, is asking a very important question in the chat room. What's the question? He says, if Luchasaurus is regenerating like Cell, does that make Jungle Boy and Marco stunt his Cell Juniors? Mm. And, and I think that's accurate. So he that's... eats them alive? and No, Where's no. He, he has birthed them. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, we've lost like half of the mayhem audience at this point. I'm sorry. That's that's <laughs> fine. I am. Although... It's okay. Our mayhem audience is over 9,000. <laughs> Hey. hey! Oh, I'm going to have to mark that one. <laughs> so, um, anyway, Ooh, wrestling. So, so, wrestling. I, you, you guys in Patreon have been, or I'm sorry, not Patreon, the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Facebook group have been kind of keeping me up on what's going on this week. So, we have a lot of kind of stories from the week, uh, announcements, uh-huh. and things like oh. that. What's no, up? nothing happened in wrestling online this week. Sword. I heard something happened in wrestling this week. Oh. No. Jesus. Gina, do you have something you would like to talk about? I don't know. I, don't... I got this delicious tea. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, you, you're talking it'd be about a shame if that you, fucking It'd be a shame shit. if you spilled it. Are, you, that's a, that's are, are, we all, are we all talking about what I think we're talking about? I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> There's a bunch of things. Are we talking about? I don't know. Just pick one out of the hat. There's a what, bunch what, of shit to talk about. What, what's your face winning the uh, the Impact Heavyweight title? So yeah. After good talking news. all that shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 Hulk Hogan won the Impact title, everyone. Oh. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, Impact Champion, once oh. again. Oh. Boom. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. No one even watches Impact, so what's it really fucking matter? Listen, Impact. It, it should have been a really good thing. It really should have. If she wasn't yep. a total asshole. Yeah. Um... Here, here's the, the, the real thing is she literally would have been better off not saying a a damn thing <laughs> yep yeah like yeah and this is where i forget that tess is only 24 and mm-hmm. then i'm extremely reminded mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. tess is only 24 she's only yeah. 24 she's been in this position um um has been you know with the women of wrestling mile superheroes promotion and doing great things there uh with impact doing tearing it up like and you can't you can't just know she goes she's a great fucking wrestler oh, you, yeah. we, we can't Our we're not talent speaks for itself, anything but her mouth then you have a her. shitty personality and that kind of like ruins it so um this so i caught up on what was happening um thanks to jim lamotti he, he had a, a story over on pw mania about it and even his own personal experience with her um and and it, if, if if you have a problem with t- t- with jim lamotta when you're just asking for like information for the for the commentator like i think there's like that seems suspect to me. I was me. there. I you were there? That. Oh, you witnessed this? Well, that was the match he was talking about was Tessa and I. Oh, uh, you were the other oh, girl. She, okay. Yeah. Was she superstar on you during the whole match? Uh, no, actually. See, and that's the thing is like, I don't want to like, it's so sad when like a, f- a fucking tweet undoes like, like I want to praise her because like that match was like a turning point for me in wrestling it was like here's the thing she kicked my ass literally and like metaphorically in that match Mm. but that match was a wake-up call that i was like okay like this is the level that i want to be at and i need to like either like put my effort and all and everything into this or i need to just be okay with like playing wrestler Mm -hmm. and be considered like one of those people um, so like that was a defining moment and like I've told her this like many times like I've talked about this before but like there was definitely like sass like mm-hmm. I don't know like I said I mean I've I've personally as a disclaimer I've never had like 
a, a terrible interaction. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm also white. But um, <laughs> there's nothing terrible, like, personally, but, like, I have heard firsthand all these stories that have come forward, and I've yeah. seen things that kind of like now like it connected the dots to like certain dynamics i've seen in other locker rooms Mm -hmm. um but again it's like it's just it's such a shame that if you just kept your mouth shut but at the same time this is also a good thing because this like also is something that happens with like abusive relationships where people tend to protect the abuser and by not outing ousting them basically Mm -hmm. so like what would have happened if she didn't make that tweet was basically what was already happening and people talking behind the scenes about like, wow, like what a shame. Like, you know what I mean? Like we would have been doing the, they would have been doing the exact same thing that probably pissed her off and made her post that like passive, passive aggressive, indirect tweet. Let's roll back because uh, you know what the story is here. So we're kind of, Oh yeah. So the tweet, the initial tweet that everybody's responding, I believe is the, Hey women try supporting one another cool things happen Mm -hmm. this is leading into her main event with sammy callahan for the title and impact at hard to kill sunday night this is what everybody just kind of lashed on to right um this is where i see isla dawn as someone who experienced your bullying firsthand received regular verbal abuse was spat on Mm -hmm. had rumors spread about me dealt with multiple attempts etc etc uh you had priscilla kelly remember publicly putting me down on twitter last year for something that i didn't uh, involve you whatsoever um there was uh let's see i think chelsea green had something to say uh rebel who we've seen here locally in pittsburgh um uh saying things as as well and then black rose was the initial one that sienna like responded to that also like uh kind of i don't want to say started the fire because she started her own fires but like i think it was that was the one where it's like um, the, the, the Sienna one, uh, when we spat on a black woman's face and called her the N-word in Japan, uh, calling that supporting women, uh, et cetera. Yeah. So, and that, and everybody else, I mean, I, that's the only, that's the only accusation I saw of that mm-hmm. and everything else was mostly about, well, yeah, you're a bully too. Yeah. You and know, apparently like, it. okay, first of all, like there's that, that word, first of all, is like the most disgusting thing, but spitting in somebody's face I will rip your fucking eyebrows off if someone ever spat in my face. Like, no, I'm, like, serious. Like, spitting yeah. in someone's face is the most disrespectful, nasty thing you can do. Like, mm-hmm. ask Pumpkin from I Love New York. Like, she got her ass fucking whooped because she spat on New York. So that's, like, the level that I associate that whole situation with now. Like, you are now the pumpkin of women's wrestling. Like, you've lost all credibility Mm -hmm. because that is just so disrespectful. Like, I would rather somebody literally, like, I don't know, just – I can think of a million other things that someone could do to me, and I would be like, wow, that was rude. Mm -hmm. But, like, like, that's your gimmick? Like, spitting in someone's face? Like, oh, oof. Over it. I'm over it. It, it does make you wonder, like, when things like this start coming up, is this the kind of thing where, you know, she was in May Young and everybody kind of asked, like, why the hell didn't she get signed? And when you hear things like this, I mean, there's always something. There's always some incompatibility. There's something that they're seeing, whether it be backstage, in the ring, or whatever. And that's why, you know, your favorite wrestler has not got signed by WWE, even though they look like they're fucking tailor-made for it, right? I have a whole list of people that I'm like, why aren't you signed yet? Uh, you know, that we know. And and you never know what it could be. Anything from, um, you know, uh, you know Wardlow. There's too many people that look like Wardlow, so he didn't get signed. And mm-hmm. uh, now he's doing, doing AEW stuff, right? Uh, to maybe there was stuff around, you know, of this nature, like a Tessa Blanchard, uh, for instance. So... Um, so now that we've kind of covered what happened, what, what the, what the conversation is, um, she did respond. Oh my God. And the uh, most, yeah. um, non-apology what? apology, I think. And I read it and it was like, it was so there's a lot at work here. There's <laughs> so <laughs> much to unpack. Yes. There's so much to unpack. And like <laughs> saying Okay, so saying that we're all human, everyone makes mistakes, does not mean I can say racist shit. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. like, not – that's that doesn't, like, make it, like, 
yeah, there's a lot of people who are human in the universe that don't use that word or spit in people's faces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, facts. Or even, like, Lars Sullivan was accused of this uh, in the last year, right? And he said, well, listen... It, it, wasn't, it wasn't accused. Like, he wrote it down. He posted yeah. it. Okay, okay, so he said, hey, I've done some shitty stuff, and I'm trying to do better. Right? Like, that is taking ownership. Well, I, was I don't know if he ever really apologized. Yeah, he's another one that's kind of right. in this limbo. Of... Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I don't think we will ever see him again, by the way. No, I, I, he had some other I don't, issues, I don't, I, from what I understand, too. He, oh... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, and just leave it at that. Yeah, moving on. He, he he definitely had something come in right behind him that he didn't see coming. Uh, like that. Wow. Okay. I. That's the thing is like. Yes. Can okay. Can you can you mess up at that level? Yes. And unfortunately, when you are someone who's under the microscope twice mm -hmm. as much, like we're all under the microscope because we're all just like posting stuff on you know social media and the internet and it never really goes away and like but that's the thing is then how you respond to it like mm -hmm. don't get me wrong i i am not a big fan of a lot of this cancel culture there are situations where mm -hmm. it's absolutely called for like you should not be in your you know industry or whatever but at the same time like again people can make mistakes but there there is a limit like, that's what I mean by going back to, oh, tiny dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. There will be tiny dog distraction breaks uh, throughout this so podcast. So many. Especially but, since we're hitting such hard hard news right now. But, like, that's the thing is then to respond, essentially, she responded with a promo, which, I mean, I understand, like, you have to keep a certain level of, you know, professionalism and athleticism, but she had mm -hmm. she had one last opportunity because, first of all, it's bad enough that she denied this happened. And then she basically admitted in this promo and other, like, responses that, yeah, I did this. So not only, like, now you've lied. Now you admit it, you do it. But now your, like, official, like, apologies basically sounds like, yeah, I said it, so what? Mm -hmm. And it's such a shame because that moment of her, first of all, I was so pumped about that whole thing like yeah, her yeah. whole feud i was like this this is another n like we're getting so much closer to genderless wrestling and, and she think this is twice now that we've had like like there was a sexy star thing uh last year with lucha underground yeah. and i think before it even aired was when she attacked somebody in the ring and hurt them you know yeah. very directly and was under fire for that mm -hmm. so it's unfortunate now like this moment has been given to women's wrestling of of having that top title and it feels like it's been tainted twice in a row now at these companies this absolutely yeah yeah like everything does it's like oh hey she's the first like we should be celebrating sexy star for what happened at lucha underground we should be celebrating tessa blanchard for this because this is a big this is a big milestone you know yeah. for whatever you think of impact wrestling this it's, is a big it's thing the, it's the third or fourth promotion in the u.s and mm -hmm. they just made a female their main champion yeah like, that yeah. should that be the should conversation be a huge deal. Mm -hmm. but it was like hey look at her they still gave her the belt and she's a piece of shit uh uh and, now, now impact like, is a piece of shit because of it well that i yeah, mean and, that's the sad part is impact like whether who they, has been doing great stuff amazing stuff i mean they work very close like with kevin at at rise with an eye mm -hmm. um which we still have to do um yes do you know what I mean? Like they are so giving in wanting to develop like that next level. Like mm -hmm. I truly believe like they are becoming the new ring of honor where like everybody basically Absolutely. is like, how do I, what's the, what's the springboard from the independence to TV? Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's honestly how I feel. Mm -hmm. But like, again, now impact is going to have to deal with the uh, consequences of her and it's kind of like, again, I'm not saying, like, they should have canceled the match. Like, they can't do that, per se. But don't put her but, over. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I felt that you way, almost... honestly. But, I mean, not that, again, everyone knows, like, I am all about intergender wrestling. Like, I want to see a day where, like, again, it's at this, some point it's just two athletes. Like, it's, it's genderless. Mm -hmm. But, again, it's so tainted now. And it makes it twice as hard to get back. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's no... 
it, it's like no different. Like there's only some, there's only certain things you can fuck up and then get the crowd back behind you mm-hmm. is like a big thing we're taught. And this is like that on another, on another level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's even worse because like you said, like all these stories came through and it's one thing to say, cause a lot of people were like, Oh, it's funny that this came up uh, right before her title shot. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of like the time when this person is probably like, and and this applies to other situations that have been like in the media where it's like, yeah, wouldn't you want kind of like everyone to know like, hey, before you like pin your star on this person, wouldn't you want to know like, b- by the way, there's some mm-hmm. fine print that you should know about like before you start throwing like, your money. It's and- a last straw for all those people that were bullied or witnessed whatever with her. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And right. that's and exactly plus, what like- that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And she she did it to herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing. If she just tweeted out promoting the match, none of this would have happened. Right. Mm -hmm. None of of this would have happened. Passive, aggressive, indirect, direct. Yeah. Like, it's, it would, and that tweet in and of itself is kind of bullying. Mm-hmm. Hey, and on a side note, uh, uh, Courtney in the chat room says it's bullshit that, that you, that you lost her, that, that, that match to her with all you do. Uh, Ronnie, you look like you've been tr- wanting to try to get say something for a little no, bit. No, I actually been watching Super Indie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See what matches you're in. <laughs> Yo, it's I just finished watching my match. Um, okay, <laughs> I was a terrible fucking ref. <laughs> you and you're a terrible that, podcaster because you weren't listening to him. No, I no, uh, <laughs> he was. He was. He was. I just I, want to give him an opportunity before no, we move on. I'm just, just I, messing with Ron Coom over there. No, I I just think the whole thing is bullshit, and I don't think she deserves it. So mm-hmm. Ron he, Coom, he was. Who the fuck is Ron Coom? <laughs> You were dressed as Raccoon from the Ginyu Squad, Adam. Oh, no, I got you. No, that went oh. Yeah, there it is. Nothing goes over my head because I will catch it. <laughs> no, actually, uh, that went right over your head. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, Brother, the, the only boomerang. thing I sell is merchandise. Luckily, uh, it was a boomerang, so it hit you in the back of the head when I explained it. Yeah, fuck you, uh, Mike. Also, connect, <laughs> Connection, since you mentioned that, uh, Batista is going to be on Season 2 of C with Jason Momoa on Apple TV. Oh, nice. His first television role. Did I'll you know it. that Batista beat out Jason Momoa for the role of Drax? No. What yes. the fuck? Whoa. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how to feel but about that anybody... because Drax is so good, but like it's Jason Momoa. Yeah, we could have got Aquaman as Drax. By the way, by the way, I yeah, but he would have had to shave his head. I have a, I, I, he would have done it. I, this is, no, this we is the point where I'm at. I, I had a Jason Momoa sighting. Where? In December. Oh, he, in December. He, oh, he, he hides his. Well I, well, I can tell you what neighborhood he was living in. Is, is, are they still filming here? Because he might be still over there. Listen, I just want to know where the <laughs> list is of who combs his beard and his hair. <laughs> and how do I get on and that how list? How the fuck do I get on that list? That's, right. that's it. That's all I want. <laughs> yeah, that's a different Patreon tier. Are, are you going to be like picking the hairs out of the uh, comb and be like, well, I'm just going to take Jason Moe's beard? No, I want to like. I, I want the man behind the beard. Like. Mm-hmm. You're going to get to the man via the beard. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm going to add that to my Facebook dating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for bearded men. Well, I'm also here for the pizza. Our good friends at Slice on Broadway, <laughs> sliceonbroadway.com, here in Pittsburgh and Beachview, Carnegie, East End, PNC Park, supporting us for so many years and feeding our... Hey, this little guy, this little podcast dog <gasps> is also a pizza dog. He loves that stuff, too. There he goes peeking up over there. Uh, so go check them out. And, of course... Yeah, you know, even give him a hit up on uh, PJH underscore slice on the Twitter. Let him know you heard about it on the Wrestling Mayhem show, and then you wish they were in your neighborhood so you can check this out, check them out, and support them. And you can at least do it social media wise to let more people know about them. And of course, if you got a Broadway in your town, wherever that may be in the Mayhem Nation. You can uh, take a picture of that Broadway Avenue, send it to PGH underscore slice on the Twitter, and say you want to slice on your Broadway, and let's help them with their global expansion, guys. That's an unofficial campaign, by the way, by the Wrestling Mayhem Show, because uh, we know we have you guys all over the country in the four corners. Okay, at least three of the corners. Three of the corners in the middle, I know. Uh, so because. I don't know if we have any Florida fans out there. I honestly Wicked. don't know. I've never seen uh, Team Hammerfist. Team Hammerfist, that's right. They're Patreon supporter. That's four right. corners. That's right. So we got at least three corners. We got three corners in the middle in the chat room. I know right now. Mm-hmm. So three corners uh, in the middle, also a different Patreon tier. Yes, also I think a completely other kind of Patreon. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, I, I'm gonna put this dog down. Give it to me. Go visit her. 
puppy dog. Right? So maybe somebody will give you a slice of pizza. Not the whole pizza, guys. I just... <laughs> Is there pizza here? <laughs> yeah, there's some left. There's a little bit left back there. Um, anyway, so some other things going on. Speaking of platforms, one Brian Cage. Good mm-hmm. for him, man. Is getting signed to AEW. Good for him. Getting I am, uh, Impact Wrestling. Good I am for excited him. for a Brian Cage versus Wardlow match in the oh future. My God. <laughs> so. I I cannot wait for Brian Cage to literally rip Marco Stunt in half. Oh, <laughs> just throw him up in the air. You know, it's very strange. Like like Brian Cage is huge, yes. but he's not tall. Yes. What do you say? He's like five. He's 10? wide. Yeah, he's, he's as tall as he is wide. So, so like Warlow is going to tower over this guy because he's yeah. like six three, six three or four at least. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, no, no, looking forward to that. I, I think they'll do some fun stuff with him. And uh, and, and again, you know, love it, love and impact. Other than, re- other than recent news, uh, <laughs> love and impact stuff. But uh, cool to see him. You know, <laughs> Wednesday nights on TNT and primetime is a better platform than Access. No, does like, anybody have Access? Because I um, sure shit don't. I, I believe well, Xfinity does. Oh, does um, it? Then I probably have access. Oh, there you go. Doesn't mean I can <laughs> fucking watch the program. Well, sometimes you don't have the channel, but you'll get all the oh, on- on-demand apparently, stuff. Apparently, uh, Tina is correcting our reporting. That news is premature. Oh. So he may not be signed. He may also be... He's talking with New Japan as well. Well, he could be on both. I mean, they're going to... John Moxley is. is. They're eventually going so. to... Uh, no, you you think that's happening? Yeah. Well, no, there's, there's, been, no. there's been back and forth with it. They really? shouldn't. They shouldn't. Be their own they entity. Sh- shouldn't. Yeah. They, they should not. I, I I think like maybe bringing people in for features now and then, but not the whole. No, they shouldn't invasion. because they don't showcase their talent as it is. That's okay. true. Okay. They don't. Okay. Like, it, AEW <laughs> irritates me because I just want to see Sunny Kiss matches on TV, damn it. Ah. Uh. He has not. He has not been on Dynamite. Uh we he had a cameo no. last week. Yeah, uh, no, but no match. He has not been on Dynamite, hasn't he? That is a shame. I swear he has. Nope. Huh? Do they need to be a three-hour show now? Because to get oh, all their talent on there? No. I hope no. not. No, we do no, not. No, they need, need that. to not have twenty-minute matches. <gasps> like they need like, to book not... the people that gave them all the publicity. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. They. they not every match has to be a 20 minute match that goes through commercial breaks. Mm-hmm. Like th- this isn't like new Japan where you have no time limits or ring of honor where you can just air a four hour show. Like, no, don't pick him up. He wants to do it on its own. Like, oh. uh, I, I legit sorry. can't win with this freaking dog. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. We're just we're just puppy. It just, we're, it just we're just puppy camming here. That's okay. That's, you know what you need. Fine. You know what makes you feel better about AEW? Petting a little chihuahua, a hey, long haired hey, chihuahua. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. Look at that. Planet. Look at that. That I makes everybody like feel better. I don't care if you're if you're so just just sad about Raw or upset with a T-shirt company oh, on sorry. Wednesday nights. Just look on one episode <laughs> of Dynamite. In the Dynamite Dozen Battle Royal. Well, there you go. Speaking of t-shirt no, companies. No, no, no. That's not there you go. <laughs> what about speaking of t-shirt companies? I forgot companies? because, because oh, Billy oh. Gunn admired his ass. I oh, yeah, that's that. right. That's right. Yeah, the good guys currently have a, uh, a shop on uh, Pro Wrestling TV. Yeah, yeah. So um, oh not entirely related, but they, they dropped their limits for wrestlers to get on. I was just going to say that. Yeah, they took away the social media limit. Yeah, yeah So yeah. Uh, we have a t-shirt company now, or t-shirt Oh, welcome on there. Wrestling Mayhem Please. shows on there as yeah, well. Please buy get... your shirts with good, good, the good guys. Yeah. What, what is happening? I get. Have you? We'll, we'll talk about it okay. afterwards. Okay. okay. Yeah. There's another thing. Okay. Yeah. Um. So so support support the good guys, yeah, Ronnie su- and and Noctis and Brent Noctis. And, and if uh, Brent. Miss, Miss Badger over here, she needs to get a shop too and support the Badger. Yes, everybody. And everybody. support the dog. The dog should have the a, dog. The wicked. I will have a wicked shirt. On the good guys. How thing. would that go? Like, listen, I'm, pu- I'm going to put this on the air. It's for a dog. We can, I mean, do you need a manager? I mean, wicked, good guy, wicked, you know. Good guy, wicked? We can, like, have him on there and then put a good guy t-shirt. If no, I... I, I believe he would be good boy, wicked. Good, yes. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> Goodest boy, wicked. If I went to a show and there was a dog referee, I would lose my goddamn mind with a little... <laughs> and a dog just running around. Yeah, it, I mean it would be chaos. Like, oh yeah, it yeah, would totally absolutely. be chaos. You get booked, kid. 
<laughs> you could do the Roddy Piper method, though, where one time Roddy Piper uh, fought a bear, like wrestled a bear, like a real bear, and the promoter uh, slapped his ass before he got in the ring, and he put a bunch of fucking honey on his tr- trunks <laughs> so that this bear was literally up his ass. There was... <laughs> There was something like that where, um, um, oh geez, I can't remember his name, and I know, I know, Matt's gonna bug me about this too. Um, we recorded a, a, a former referee with Studio Wrestling days, like Bruno San Martino days, and they did a bear one, but they kept sticking the bear on him, the referee, <laughs> instead of the wrestlers. <laughs> so um, terrifying. He's the one that had the shoe, the shoe repair place here in town. Um, <laughs> it's. Listen, it's the most Pittsburgh story ever, Mike. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so actually, he did he did shoe repairs for like all the Steelers and the Penguins and like basically <laughs> anybody famous in town. So what? Nothing. It's just it is like you. Have, I haven't even heard the full story, and it's already like so this we're guy? talking the seventies and the eighties, man. When you fixed your shoes and didn't just buy them at Walmart, well, okay? You guys were well, talking about bears, and all I can think about is the Office. Bears beats Metal Star Galactica. There's that too. Uh, we also have a friend that I introduced them, the Beast Man, and they're still waiting. <laughs> uh, apparently, I I misspoke and said there was going to be a bear at that at that show. So we thought and it was a bear, and they're still waiting for the bear. And he got West Fetty instead. And they got West Fetty, and they they kind of took him home. <laughs> Well, that's a longer story, but <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think you're aware of that yeah, story. That, yeah. um, anyways, so what else is happening here? You guys, um, uh, Tina especially has let us know about uh, great matches going on. Um, is anybody, uh, anybody here familiar with Daniel Maccabe? Maccabe? Maccabe. Uh, I mean, I know he, I've seen like some of his stuff in New Japan, but okay. Okay. Oh, wait. So maybe I have seen it too. Uh, yeah, you know you have. I don't know. You probably just didn't know his first name was well, Daniel. His yeah, probably. Uh, he uh, he's um the best. He's labeled here as the best unsigned technical technically a wrestler, the wrestling genius Daniel Maccabe, and he's uh taking on. Let's see if I can pull up the graphic here for you guys. Uh, Nick, no swearing. Uh, Gage MDK at WrestleMania Warhausen's uh WrestleMania. So uh, yeah, it's a straight up middle finger. That is a ma- that is a middle finger right uh, there because it's Nick no swearing gauge. Uh, he's fucking swearing. He is, <laughs> he is fucking swearing indeed. Um, I've Nick seen. Gage. Have you seen this guy wrestle in person? No. No. It's, Nick Nick Gage was the guy who almost killed David Arquette, right? It's f- oh yes, that that's the guy. guy who thinks he needs to get over by doing hardcore matches. I've seen him twice, uh, and from a distance, and gosh. I sat closer this time. He's fucking. Terrifying. Oh, then I probably mm-hmm. sh- I should retract my statement. Yes, <laughs> he's yeah, gonna end up should. on a wrestling show he, with him. His catchphrase is "murder, death, kill." So, yes. pal, uh, I gotta tell you something, Nick. Wrestling's fake. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> don't do that. Wait, don't, don't what? Do that. Don't do that. Don't do that here. I'm gonna. No, I don't I'm think just that's gonna... a good idea. Just pull Wait, that no, away. We don't, don't do that here. Out. We don't do that here. Hold that's, on. That's, for, that's a different what? show. What? Uh, that's a different show. No, don't. 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 No, Mike. Mike. There was nothing. Nothing. It was a glitch. No. Don't murder. It's not what you heard. No. Don't murder people. Is what I meant. Don't murder. Death. Kill Ronnie. No. No. He said wrestling is baked. It's oh, baked. I'm here. Baked. It's, it's okay. fully baked. But enough about Rob Van Dam. <laughs> what a good guy. <laughs> Speaking of good guys, uh, there's Rob Van Dam. Jeez. And, uh, should oh wait, has yeah, he so done? Wait, check. has he done something shitty? No, he, he's <laughs> currently sleeping with two girls right now. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. a shame. Poor, poor guy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not jealous at all. Like, no, no, no. Well, when you're Rob Van Dam, you can do whatever the hell you want. When you're Mr. Monday Night, Night you're hardcore. You can take them both. To be fair, I have gotten so gooned that I've seen double and made like, like I was like, oh, what? my judgment was like impaired with. I'm like, where was this story going? <laughs> Wait, what? No, I'm saying like he enjoys the devil's lettuce as I do. And sometimes you just you go so far into the stratosphere that you see double. So if he's banging two women, maybe he thinks it's the same person. That's fair. Okay. All right. Fair. Or Wait, maybe uh, one of my Patreon actually... levels is uh, writing alibis and uh, <laughs> <laughs> ways to get out of <laughs> excuses for your affairs. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna, oh, get, you, I'm gonna get you a shovel. You can dig your way out of that one. <laughs> oh no, I. I like it down here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're fun. We are learning so much this week. Oh, um, uh, boy, that's I'm, another Patreon level. I like it down here. I like it down here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just me in a, like, oh, please send down the pizza in the bucket, sir. 
<laughs> it puts the pizza in its mouth or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> he beat that me to it. Were you there, Ronnie, when there's that horrible hole up by the crow's nest at, at, uh, at the, in, in McKeesport and, and we, there was they're passing something down to me and they put it in a, 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 a pitcher and said, puts it in the basket, puts the lotion in the basket down to me. I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> there, there's a bunch of holes in that building. It's there, there are a lot of, there, there are. <laughs> I've um, got holes. Shocked. I've got holes. And yes. Anyways, um, before I get myself in trouble, um, I just got to yeah, say, because matter. this is so great. And uh, I believe, I believe Matt Carlin sent this to me and said, this is a uh, peak RJ city. Oh, uh, oh boy. <laughs> RJ City. Uh, we'll, we'll say better. Oh, there yes. he is. Yep. RJ makes coffee in his underwear with Stone Cold Steve Austin. It it looks what like... an awkward Christmas Day photo <laughs> yeah. for that I young guess... nephew and Uncle Steve. What did somebody say? It, it, it looks like Steve Austin. This is what it looks like when you've uh, met your uh, adult son for the first time and are very disappointed. I wonder if he realizes he's not actually supposed to be in his underwear for this. Who, which one? Uh, RJ. Looks what? like every photo Jim Miller's taken with. Uh, okay. All uh, right. Anyways. Um, top female talent. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jokes. Oh boy. oh, boy. We just put cameras all over the place. It's the fine. Thoughts of the guests are not necessarily the opinions of the affiliates of the show. Nope, nope, uh, okay. <laughs> no, everything's fine. Um, not, not the thoughts. Not the thoughts. No, 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 no. All right. Here's some good news for you. Here's some good before we go to the break here and get to the big question, because I know you are all excited for this is hold on as uh, as uh, uh, Ronnie's getting mouth kissed, kissed by the dog right now. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, and how about I want to boop that snoot. <laughs> that's a different Patreon level. That's a different. Yeah, that's a Patreon level now too. make sure for a hundred for a hundred dollars. She'll boop the snoot. That's right. It's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's going to hit me by the <laughs> She's going to beat the shit oh, out of you, right? Oh, getting closer. She's wait, sure. here you go. Wait, wait, wait. No, wicked. Anyways, but returning, <laughs> returning, and, and I, I did share, I did, I did actually get kind of a preview of this for several months now. Um, the WWE Superstar Cookie Sandwiches are returning. Yo, oh what God. the fuck? Yeah. In. I just ate the last of my vanilla wafers for this la- last night. Yeah. Um, what, what is this secret listen, wafers listen, that man. you got? Listen, so so my family works at Joy Cone back home. Son of a bitch. Which that? is, it's a cone company. And you've probably eaten one made back from my hometown. <laughs> so, um, Neat. And, and including, this is a good humor product. So like like Dairy Queen cones or Joy Cone and everything they just rebrand them uh, mm-hmm. a lot of times and uh, they have a cookie plant that they just put in and they've been doing these uh, vanilla wafers and I've been getting the rejects. Oh boy! Do they um, have the wrestling pictures? So on do them? you have rest- like a bunch of Roman Reigns with no heads? Uh, no, no, no. The, the issue was the ink actually that they oh, that, okay. the, that they read like the first one like if you got them wet and they're putting them ice cream in them like they're gonna <laughs> run. Like Missy would, <laughs> Missy would take like a cookie, put it on her tongue, and then she had Roman Reigns on her tongue. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's, that's actually a better marketing sale. Yeah, it's like we should have went with this, right? Mm-hmm. So for two hundred um, big Patreons. dog on your tongue. Because it was always she wow. Always, we always get like you know she'll wow. just give me a box of cones when I'm up for Christmas or visiting or whatever. She's nice. already got something extra from there because apparently it's. Please forward all reject. <laughs> we'll have to share it. <laughs> well, we actually did. Missy took them, and uh, we were invited to somebody's uh, 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 a New Year's party. That was a bunch of wrestlers. So she made like not ice cream, but she made um, um, frosting and made sandwiches with them. What? Wait, was them. I? What, no, was you this? were not at that party. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Apparently, we weren't invited. I, we weren't invited to that party. I'm sorry. Wow. I, yeah, I, that makes us feel. I'm no, sorry. Wait, which? It what? wasn't my party. Okay, guys. Oh wait, this was. What did, when did I see? No, you? I did go to a New Year's party at a wrestler's house. But yes, not, you did. But not that. that oh, that this was, one. I'm thinking of the Christmas party. The, the yeah, no, we didn't have them yet at the Christmas party. Because I would have definitely like yes, inserted those like gone... floppy disk into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stop saying that's a different Patreon. Too. For, <laughs> for three hundred dollars <laughs> on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> we can just add that she one to like the oh they were start nice. getting the start getting the rejects and then that's one of the foods I will sloppily eat. 
You we see can't what I, lose. You want to see what I can do with a macho man? Wow. Oh, boy. I'm adding that. That's another good tag for my Facebook dating profile. <laughs> for 400 Patreon, <laughs> see what she can do with her mouth with a macho man. Oh, Did someone geez. mention the macho man? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah he's got the glasses on audio if there i don't go. if we don't find a way to put mad mike macho man on a fucking ice cream sandwich <laughs> oh all right here's my uh, with the wrestling mayhem show ice cream sandwiches guys yes. See, the funny thing is you say that i now have these glasses i have a macho man robe all i need is a bandana and a wig and I okay can okay we're not 3d printing you onto like a Why ice cream not? sandwich. It's like an Wait, outline. We could. We could. Well, I mean, you can three D three D print anything. That's right. We know people. Why don't we make With him a T shirt on uh, pro wrestling tees? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> macho Mike here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Um, the macho Mike here. Oh, uh, Tina says, "Ha ha." That's me. Tina. Oh yeah, that's a different Patreon level. Yes, it is. You eat the sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Tina says that's a Bumble level. Um, <laughs> Charlie said, "Sold Badger, take my hundred dollars." Um, and then a- after a little bit, uh, I'll move some money around. I'm upgrading to three hundred dollars. <laughs> yes. Oh <laughs> man, I'm gonna eat so fucking oh, good. Be working. <laughs> I am so fucking hungry. And in slow motion. And in slow motion. <laughs> oh jeez, I think I I think I screwed up the ads. Uh, I did these backwards uh, because this would have been the perfect segue into a slice on Broadway ad, uh, which you could also do in slow motion. Yo, hey. slice, hey. hit no. me up. I'm on it. Hold on. All right, where are you going? Where are you going? Are we doing this now? Oh, are you just kidding? The All perfect right, hold pepperoni on a pizza Slice. Patreon. Hey. <laughs> uh, listen, I care about the content for uh, my follower. Oh, Poppy. Um, I ca- I care about the content. I only want it if it's hot and ready. Well, listen, listen, hold on, Ronnie. We're gonna do this after the break. But first of God. all, I want to give a shout out. Please go check out IndieWrestling.us and the Indie Wrestling Network, IndieWrestling.network, with a lot of great content. Just posted the RWA show from this past weekend, including a, a, a an epic casket match against Pretty Boy Smooth and Matt Can- Can- Canard. Why would I? Cat Connard. Damn it. Can- I don't know who the Canard is. I don't know who that is. Wasn't hey. that Darkwing Duck? That ego? was. Fun. <laughs> I think I was Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck and a very tall man in a casket match. Let's get Res- dangerous. Wrestling. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> also dangerous was fans bring the weapon. Ooh. I was very worried for everybody's safety at Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Their 11th anniversary show. Holy shit! 11 years under one promoter. Uh, and and it keeps growing. Uh, at max capacity, there they had a steel cage match with uh, Bill Collier. And uh, Daniel Ease, they had a uh, a a, a, dog, a bloody dog collar match between Bronco McBride and Jimmy Cicero. Uh, let's see what else. There was another one in there. There was a uh, well, I am calling after the show a uh, love triangle match with uh, uh, Justin Idol's uh, wife question mark uh, as the guest referee and a six way uh, ladder match um, uh, with uh, for the contract for number one contendership. Uh, where which had a lot of consequences, a lot of bruised Instagrams uh, the next day after that one. Uh, so go check that out. That's RW Uprising plus uh, Rise and plus the um, Black Diamond Wrestling New Year Nightmare, including Ronnie Starks on commentary for some reason. I was really drunk. Yeah. <laughs> if, yeah. We're be- if we're being honest. Yeah, people are still asking me about some of the things you said. Uh, so, was that bad? Yeah, it was, it was something. Um, anyways, yeah. <laughs> Whoops, indeed. So go check out all that stuff. Indie Wrestling US Plus, Rapsos Brigatoni, Women with Waffles, including one. Including Gina. I would like to see the child. That's right. <laughs> As child. a child. Uh, Baby, Yoda. Baby Yoda's going to be at uh, Build-A-Bear soon, by I can't the way. wait to get my mm-hmm. Baby Yoda. Oh, my God. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm totally getting one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm totally getting see, one. See, I fought it. I fought it so now. hard. I was like... I, I don't know why y'all like this little fucking grandpa bug. If that thing was in your goddamn kitchen at 3 a.m., you would freak the fuck grandpa out. There would be bug. no cute. And then people tricked me, and they made me watch, like, the best of, and I was like, oh, you didn't tell me that it makes baby noises, and mm-hmm. I, unfortunately, I'm a female and have ovaries, and I went, oh, I need one. So <laughs> now I'm like, all things Baby Yoda. If it makes you feel better, he is 50. 
Oh, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> on I, that note, I, hey, we're going to uh, listen to Katie talking about what some stuff going on that we do uh, also in this space. And we'll be back with a big question and um, some slow slice eating. Is that happening? Are we doing this right now? Where's Anyways, right? we'll be right back. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. You're so oh, wow! For the for the price of nine ninety nine a month, you can slowly <laughs> start to get to know me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. is that the? Is if that that's the, right? the case, you should pull up the old dubstep theme for the WWE Network. Let me get my credit card. Oh out. man! Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the House of Gina. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm about I'm about to. Oh, You're about boy. to what? I was to say I'm about to revive velocity. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is, oh, it so is so many jokes. My so head is going to explode. Oh, that's geez. that's what oh, I do. Geez. That's what I'm, I'm pretty here sure for. at this point it would be called friction. Uh, <laughs> it is uh the wrestling mayhem show <laughs> slash workshop, your Patreon day. Uh here the second episode of the year. Uh this is what we do. This is what we do. It's called marketing. Gina's here talking with us. <laughs> is it marketing because you're looking for marks? Wow! Whoa! Yes. Jeez. Yes, I Ooh. am. Yeah, fix it yes, I am. I just want to Buy oh. my gear. It's for sale. <laughs> I am hungry and have to pay my rent. <laughs> Give me money. Honey browsers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I know it's all gold. It's gold. Man, I'm making that graphic tonight. Yes, you can have that one. That one, that one. Man. I'm giving away $100 ideas. Ronnie Starks is here. Hello, everyone. Somehow. I'm I'm here. He's just existing. I, I'm loving this whole fucking day right now. <laughs> Badger might be my new favorite person. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, it's honey... Honey. Honey Brazzers now. <laughs> oh my god, can I call you that forever now? Honey Brazzers? Oh boy. Holy fuck. <laughs> I can't wait for that conversation backstage to happen. So, so, so I hung out with Honey Brazzers. So wait, is right, that right. And there's like, the like Brandon K like, there's Brandon K like, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Ronnie? Like, <laughs> is that the title of this episode now? <laughs> it might be. Welcome up the honey brazzers. I don't. It might get us kicked off a couple platforms, but um, oh no. It's parody. It is okay. parody. So when she yeah. takes a slow bite of the piece of pizza, put the brazzers logo <laughs> on the bottom. If you don't censor it out, what, if you just, don't put a pizza, if you don't put a big censored thing like they used to do with the Girls Gone Wild commercials, <laughs> like the overnight, like it was like midnight hit yeah. when you were watching uh, TNT, and it was like Girls Gone Wild, and it was like Spring. the full shot, but then the censor thing was like bouncing up and down, it's like that's what you need to do. Yeah, oh, it yeah. was a Girls Gone Wild. So like when this comes <laughs> up, if this isn't a big censor bar, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. They got me with that shit when I was. Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, we, yeah. you know yeah. why? Marketing. Because mm -hmm. because I'm a fucking mark. <laughs> what's your goddamn fucking max? <laughs> so Anyways, what's the big question of the day? The big question, maybe, what's your favorite Patreon level? Um, <laughs> geez, Honey Brazzers and Joey Ryan, sleaziest tag team around. Please, there yeah, you go. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> that may be the way oh, to do it. I want to wrestle Joey Ryan so this goddamn bad. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the. Way. This, is the this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have spoken. This is the way. <laughs> dot dot dot. Okay. <laughs> That's I, okay. That's the title of the show. This is the way. Dot dot dot. Okay. There's so many tiles. I'll probably end up I think you're gonna get more clicks if you put Honey Brazzers. <laughs> yeah, it will. It will. Like, yeah. It will. Um, anyways, your big question. We talk about signings. We talk about some on the off air, which I, I want to get to. Actually, it seems like um, big moves happening. People that, like we're kind of saying, um, um, kind of we're surprised didn't get signed by one company or another. Yeah, let's just say the top two at this point. Mm -hmm. um, whether they're just selling T-shirts or not. Um, so who who's out there that you think is on the verge? And again, we're coming up in the WrestleMania weekend in a couple months. Okay, that was kind of a weird time frame. But um, 
couple months. I'm yeah, I mean, like, we're starting. We're yeah. starting to see. We're see, we're starting to see you know, things like WrestleMania and and uh, Effie's Big Gay Brunch and and shows like and AIW is going down for Thunder of Paradise. Fucking, I love you guys, John Thorne and company. Um, but uh, it, so so like there's there's always those things, and that's usually. You know, where uh, maybe people get re- inter- in- get introduced to what's kind of hot in indie wrestling, right? Mm-hmm. You know, somebody's going to make a moment and 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 see what comes out of that, and and maybe you know comes from, comes you know, become becomes signed, gets bigger, uh, becomes a Joey Ryan or, or whatnot, right? Who do you think is kind of on the verge of a breakout at this point? Maybe even like a Warhausen. Wait, that's that's both guys. <laughs> Dan Howes and Warhorse kind of thing. Uh, like, who do you see that you could see kind of popping in the near future? I'd like to see Matt Connor do more. Mm-hmm. It's my big He's choice. been at it for a while. He's been doing very mm-hmm. good stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, really kind of killing it the last couple of years, especially. Mm-hmm. Didn't you work with... Um, can't think of their names. Fucking... Uh, Young Bucks? Didn't he do a tag match with Young Bucks at Did AAW? He? I, I'm not aware of that. Yeah, oh, it happened. I, I think you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, tag he match. Was, he was in, well, I mean, he didn't wrestle them, but he, he uh, teamed with Gory against the fraternity when uh, the Hardys were around mm-hmm. at, uh, up in Meadville. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he's had, he's had like, these these great brushes with mm-hmm. decent guys. Yeah, he's he's a good dude. So yeah. um, He's got a look to him. He's got luck. He's mm-hmm. hitting. He's hitting up some new tag team stuff this year. So, mm-hmm. like that could be something uh, that comes out. What about you, Mike? Who are you seeing out there? Uh, I I think RJ City. Oh, yeah. long overdue. Yeah. yeah, like he was doing some IW or uh, some uh, uh, Impact stuff for a while. A little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, we know how I feel about Impact. We, but it's <laughs> still a thing, and 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 but it, it is. But they don't really have. Vetting, mm-hmm. as it as it were, is, is as obvious. we discussed in the first segment. Yes, yeah. but um, yeah, I I feel like especially if if RJ says like a making inroads with Stone Cold Steve Austin, mm-hmm. that right there could be a definite nice name to have on your resume, as it were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> resume. You know? Um, I think like, could. Yeah. No, no, that's it. Uh, Gina, do you have one? Um, I, I feel good about the main event mm-hmm. going mm-hmm. down, uh, to that, the performance a- center. That was one, you know, it's like, it's like crazy, like the way like time works because not that like forever ago, like when I was still a trainee, I remember like talking about, I think this is when, um, oh sh- shit, what was his name? Cassidy went down forever ago. Uh, Don, I can't remember his name, but one of one of the old PWX guys had went down and done uh, one of like basically like one of the performance oh, like circuits, yeah. yeah. And um, he uh, he came back and um, was talking about like just the size of dudes and stuff, and like I just assumed like I mean everybody's tall to me, but mm-hmm. like. You know, bigger dudes and like Gan, you know, like like Gannon Jones Jr. Like he looks like an athlete. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And works to make sure he always looks like an athlete. And he's very talented. And it was like kind of shocking when he's like, I'm considered like a small dude down there. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And like now it's kind of crazy. I think that was like four or five years ago. And like now he's down there like with his tag partner. Like granted, they didn't like look at them. From what I understand, like they look at everybody individually. It's a room it's just, of uh, there's like 50 people that were on that list. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's just it's just kind of crazy that, like, I don't want to say anybody is getting down there, but like as soon as you get like some fire under you, it seems like they just want to like, all right, where are they at? But mm-hmm. I I just have a feeling like they've been doing so much good stuff, and they just always like seem to top themselves a little bit more every time. Mm-hmm. That I I wouldn't be shocked if they were. Like they elevate themselves to the next level, so I I literally think like they're good dudes, like they're my people, but like even that aside, like they're just like really good wrestlers and like very very entertaining, uh, so yeah, I think they're kind of like the next like indie darlings that could or or just elevated to the next indie darlings, honestly, mm-hmm. like they could be like young buck status. I f- I feel like at some point mm-hmm. where it's like n- like you say main event and everybody knows who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um. 
I was thinking. I was thinking a little bit earlier about. Uh, I feel like Colin Delaney is going to ha- come back around. Mm-hmm. Like he's been doing great stuff and and doing some killer matches around, doing commentary. I know he's commentary on uh, AIW, and we see him up in Revenge doing so mm-hmm. as well. And, and again, he's a guy that's been there before, but he's a different Colin Delaney now. Yeah. More capable, more, you know, I think can do more. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, and it's a different WWE now. It's too. a different WWE. I, you know, we've seen him do some some matches on 205 Live, for instance, mm-hmm. uh, pop mm-hmm. it up here and there. So we know he's kind of still in the circle uh, there. So, you know, and, and, and good guy. And I hope he gets another shot at that, mm-hmm. you know, doing something on that level. Or even AEW picking him up and doing something with him. So because he's and he's entertaining, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, he's done some fun matches mm-hmm. that we've seen up there. Teaming with Keith Hart, watching some old matches of his, uh, those two together recently. Um, and uh, um, uh, to infinity and beyond, I'm seeing team up again up in Erie. So um, so that, that's one that's kind of a, on top of my head just for the moment as well. On top of what guys, you know. Obviously, a lot of guys mm-hmm. you guys mentioned are on the list, too. Um, a lot of lists coming out on the chat room. Tina says, Warhausen, David Starr. Um, David Starr is on the cusp. Dude, that guy. They, they did a killer 45-minute match with uh, Jonathan Gresham a few years ago we filmed. AJ Gray, Kurt Stallion, some of these names I don't know. Ricky Shane Page. Ricky with... Gregory Iron, who we'll have, we're going to have an Indie Mayhem show next week when I talk to him about podcasting exclusively, I swear. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, was it Atticus? Who's their fourth? Why is that escaping me? But they're doing this thing at, uh, I think, GCW mm-hmm. where it's like 440. Um, and they got something very good going on. They got on. something interesting going on down there. And it's different than we've seen from any of them individually, it seems, right? I think so. Atticus is going to be somebody. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez, I think he, yes. I think he, like, he, I, I don't know how to say this because, like, I feel like as, as unique and talented as he, as he is, like, I still feel like he's, th- this is only the tip of the iceberg. Like, oh, yeah. I, just I, I feel like we're going to look back and be like, I can't believe that's, that's like, he had a, a jacket made of faces and we thought that was the craziest thing he was going to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, whoever I forget, I wish I shared it, I think, on Instagram, but whoever did the one where the referee, like, I think it was him and Gory and the referee put his hand on one of the faces and they did a close up and said, mm, excuse me, excuse uh, me, sir. <laughs> excuse I think me, that sir. was <laughs> <laughs> I forget where I saw that. I feel like that was Ty Cross. That might have been a Ty Cross thing. I don't know. <laughs> but don't know uh, who that guy is. yeah, I don't know. Don't know who that guy is. <laughs> um, Eddie only, yeah, no, I've been getting to see him a bit. He's been at uh, Uprise and uh, UPWA. UPW, UPW, oh no, I'm screwing up those letters. Anyways, our friends up there in Cleveland, um, you know, he's been doing some great stuff, uh, and 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 could get over there. Um, also from this, uh, Buffalo Boys, all those guys are awesome. Says Charlie, um, and uh, and and a story of them all coming back from that that horrible car accident faye jackson tina saying um oh yeah puff puff's gonna do something yes yeah he's he's a character i'm really sad that um we never i never got my dream tag with him to be honey puff honey puff (laughs) honey puff that's great (laughs) and then we have like a funko box of cereal (laughs) Like shitty cereal with like little Funkos. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Victor out there saying CPA. He's been doing. Uh, we've seen him a bit in Rise, of course, and he's been doing some fun stuff. Um, Logan Creed. I'm not familiar. With. Uh, Casey Navarro. Uh, Red Death. I'm not familiar with that either. AC Mac. All names that all of you should be uh, YouTubing right now. Uh, Blake Christian. A lot of people out there. So and again, like I mean, we only know. If, Mostly, but our... like that's just a like really cool part of this. Like with indie wrestling, like this wheel kind of like turning even faster than it than it you obviously used to. Is there's mm-hmm. like those people you just listed is like there's so much opportunity for talent to like showcase themselves because eventually, like especially now with AEW like up there, like. There's so much opportunity. Like, I know, like, everybody keeps saying this, but I really feel like it's true. Like, there's never been a better time Mm -hmm. to be a pro wrestler, like, in the indies, because there's just so many different opportunities, like, locally. Like, again, Rise with an I just started doing online. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can do online um, seminars now. Oh, really? Like, well, they started doing, 
I believe, a weekly or bi-weekly seminar up in Chicago where they're based out of with freelance wrestling. Um, but uh, you can now, like, for a, a fraction of an already really good price, like, you can also now, like, tune in basically via, like, live mm -hmm. and just, like, get all the information. And, like, mm -hmm. especially, like, if Jimmy Jacobs is there, like, mm -hmm. I can't recommend, like, granted, like, all the seminars, like, have, I always, like, take something good away. But, like, Jimmy Jacobs is just, like, one of my favorite people to do a seminar with because I always leave with so much information and just, like, so much, like, oh, my gosh, what if I did this? What if I did this? Like, he just, like, opens up that box to, like, you know what I mean? Like, get mm -hmm. your thought process going. And that's that's so accessible now too. Uh, I have been obsessed with watching um, um, uh, Quack and Bushes till we make it serious because there's some stuff in there that, that like actually hits on stuff that I try to help with with what we do with production and everything. Um, you know, and, like and little things like well, that's the one about being the stinky one in the locker room. <laughs> you know, things that you know things you don't think about, right? So, but I mean, but that's so accessible now uh, more than anything. And, and you say there's more, multiple opportunities, like, and while there's plenty more wrestlers training, probably more than ever, there's more opportunities for the people that know how to take advantage of them and can learn how to take advantage of them too. So, and, and all that's going to rise, uh, right. <laughs> With, with an, an I, I or with a an y. I or a Y. Thank you, thank you for calling me out. Everybody called me out on that one. Well, we have to do that. Now. Yes, exactly. So, all right. Well, hey, there's a lot of stuff going on, and of course, even just here in the Pittsburgh area, I just updated PittsburghWrestling.com because uh, I just found out there are two shows on March 20th, for instance, up in Springdale and in uh, University of Greensburg with uh, KSWA and uh, the Pit Fight Boys are putting together another show coming up there. Ronnie, I know you got launched in the stratosphere at the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I will also be on this one. And you'll be on this one as well. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna, I don't know if we'll be in attendance or we might podcast again. I don't know. The Pit Bike guys are going to come back on this show to talk about what's coming up. Uh, but we're looking, uh, looking forward to seeing that. It's not on Tuesday, so it makes the decision a lot easier for me. So looking forward to uh, check that out. And uh, you guys, too, uh, take the drive out there and support them. Oh, cool. But and also, <laughs> you guys are still watching these old DVDs. Adam Cole's on this show. Adam Cole's on this show. Babyface Adam Cole, right? Apparently, I work with Adam Cole. Babyface. <laughs> Babyface. Uh, Bay Bay face, yes, yeah, well, yeah. Bye -bye. You never know. Everybody comes through Pittsburgh, guys. Everybody, except for Daniel Bryan. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he he was on anything locally, right? Other than the Ring of Honor shows, just at the Ring of Honor in the same building. Yeah, yeah, wow. like that's it. But See, not like it was him versus Kenta. See, on Punk came through. Yeah. I don't know. The dog's got something to say. <laughs> because are we out of pizza? Another, another, piece. or not? Oh, he's probably mad because I won't share. Do, do you want some press, Toby? Well, I'll take care of it. Anyways, you were saying? Um, it is it is funny with the timing, though, that um, said CM Punk is doing that uh, Fox thing, and we all of a sudden have ice cream bars. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Maybe it was part of his negotiations. Hmm. Maybe. I, I don't think he legit cares. Listen, about. man, let us have a dream, okay? Yeah, let, us, let us believe, okay? Ice cream bars are still real to us, damn it. Well, yeah, okay, you, if you want to believe, just assume it's Seth Rollins because he's stealing every other part of Punk's gimmick. Uh, there's no Seth Rollins on those sandwiches. It's uh, Roman Reigns, Macho Man, <laughs> Becky Lynch, and... And I forget who the other one is. So is the Becky Lynch one considered an ice cream manwich? Yes. Leave. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. I live here. Okay. Well, still leave. Just <laughs> leave the internet. <laughs> really, leave. out of all the jokes I've made, that's the one that gets the leave. Yeah, manwich. That's where you. Nope. I draw. I have to draw a line somewhere. Oh, Fair enough. Right. I have. I have morals and standards. What if you're in the area? And it's a different Patreon. That's tier. a different Patreon. Yes. Morals and standards. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I one, just want one, you to one dollar a month. You get a lecture. <laughs> one dollar a, a, a month is the she's a nice lady tier. She's a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? She's a nice lady. It's actually just me. Like uh, it's you get a photo of me doing something nice, like. Like helping like a grandma. It's like me like putting like groceries into like an old woman's car. I hope it turns out to you stealing her groceries. I was gonna like... say, but then it turns around like the next thing is like the five dollar no. level is what's actually happened. Yeah. Maybe she's not a nice lady. 
And we were talking about off air. But this is like the week of just signings and things and, and progress really and movements. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mercedes Martinez, who I got yes. to see at Rise. I finally got to see her at Rise with an eye when I was out in California last uh, last spring. Amazing. Uh, but finally got, finally got signed to the WWE. 19 years. 19 years. You, I, like, that is unheard wrestling of. Wrestling 19 years at her level, like... I can't. I can't tell you the, how I shrieked when I saw her at uh, the one AEW. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't believe they dropped the ball on her and didn't sign her. Well, hey, I mean, they're gonna make mistakes too. Early. They are. They are. It, it, we've we've talked about like kind of the questionable women's division over there right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, they have a women's division. <laughs> yeah, you never know from watching their show. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the best. No, no, but you know, hey, not everything's gonna be full tilt. They're learning as they're going. Mm-hmm. You know, there's just a multi-million dollar learning as we're going thing. You know, right, Wicket? Right. Um. Anyways, uh. So <laughs> Look at the crap. I see it. <laughs> it's happens because you can see he's tasting the pizza juice wicket. from my hand from earlier. And I can't do anything or else he'll fall. Uh, so uh, multitasking. Switch a show. Hold a dog. Host the show. Try to keep things going. Sorg and, is the Paris Hilton. And I think. Um, what? You're holding a dog in podcasting. I was thinking I, more of the Steve. I assume that's what Paris Hilton does. I was thinking the Mongo McMichael of. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, All right. I fair. Feel like, uh, who's got the Halliburton? Then? Oh, I have. I, mean, I have such no a early. dream of owning a strawberry blonde uh, Chihuahua named uh, Bougie, and she's named Gigi for short, and she goes everywhere with me. Wait, Bougie is Gigi for short? Yes. No, no, no. Her, no. no, her full. Okay, her uh, government name would be Bougie, <laughs> but for short, I would call her Gigi. Mm-hmm. That seems like the same length to me. Okay. Oh, it- I'm but it's like me saying, yelling, me yeah. yelling, bougie, or going, gee, and then a little, little strawberry blood dog. Little, little, little little, 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 There's a lot of. That sound? Oh, that's that's ASMR right there. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. That came over real fun over somebody's car radio right now. Like, what mm-hmm. the fuck is yeah. This? yeah. It's the spiders. <laughs> There's somebody driving around high as fuck right now, like, losing what? their fucking mind. Follow the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There was somebody else that got signed we were talking about, too. I can't uh, reach Jake my... At- What's Atlas. That? Jake Atlas. Now, tell me about Jake Atlas. You said you said you were... Wait, did we talk about it on show or off air? I think we did it I off air. I think it was off air. Um, so you, you, you're familiar with Jake Atlas, right? Yeah. Um, I, I met him at uh, Rise with an Eye there... Um, their pride show that mm. was in Chicago. Um, and I believe he was in there. I think, I believe it was a, a six way um, with a lot of other good talent. Like I just, I, I cannot, my, I'm so, my brain is so fried from just life that I can't think of like who I know Priscilla Kelly was in it. Um, and a lot of other upcoming talent that was like newer that I hadn't heard of, mm-hmm. but like just a a, fin- a fantastic uh, athlete. But like again, I had, I I mean that was the first that I had met and heard of him, and then I saw like Rise using him more, and then all of a sudden it was like signed. So somebody was either watching and like we're not waiting because like we were talking about like they can't you almost can't wait anymore because. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, what a cool thing, like, to jump back real quick. Like, even look at, like, Mercedes, who, like, I straight up, so, like, Mick Foley asked her, like, why haven't they signed you or even, like, signed you as a trainer? Because mm-hmm. she's so good. And he was literally like, do you need me to make a phone call? And she's like, it might help. Like, because no one understood, like, why? Do you know what I this mean? Is, like, and this is a thing that I've heard from people that have been signed. Like, people are signed doing their podcast and talking about things. They're, they're just, like... I've been to all the things and they don't sign you or they let you go and they don't tell you like there's something about the culture there where they don't tell you what you did wrong when they put you in the doghouse or something like on raw or something and and, and but then expect you to just do better like there's this weird thing happening that's with a WWE. Shame. like that's 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 what a couple of wrestlers have said something along those lines um I think maybe even Dean Ambrose when he when he did his uh po- the first podcast after um talked about that a little bit so like it's and it's so it's a it's a it's a culture thing right there yeah so if you're good and you're We're going and you get it well i mean it's a corporate culture either way right so 
Um, and that's going to be different than, you know, AEW, you know, has whatever little ticks maybe dealing with their talent that mm-hmm. they're developing for, you know, better or for ill, you know, and we'll hear about that sooner or later, I'm sure. Right. Um, so it's just weird, like as a growth opportunity or like a, a learning, uh, not learning, but like a coaching opportunity. Like mm-hmm. if you didn't like, if you didn't want to deal with a certain type of, you know, behavior or mm-hmm. attitude, like anything like that. Um, you would think like you almost want to like get the word out via like, Hey, you were pink slipped because of this reason. Yeah. Um, and then the word would go around and then people would be like, well, fuck when I go there, like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Like something like that or, or like you get that when like a Jimmy Jacobs comes out of the system and says, listen, this is what you need to do. Or Al Snow, I was, I was listening to a little bit of one of his sessions while we were setting up at a show. And it was like, it's like, listen, if you WWE looks for X, Y, and Z. You need to concentrate on X, Y, and Z, no matter what the fuck you think you should be doing, right? Because if you don't do this, they will not be interested in you or you will not work out mm-hmm. there. Like, that's where that information comes down. But if you go, you know, and, and you're not getting feedback, and you're just saying, I just know I'm not getting called back like a Mercedes, Mercedes was uh, potentially then. Yeah, I mean, that's it's, it's frustrating. And I mean, that was only, but, I think, a year ago that that right. conversation like in Florida with her and and fully that I wouldn't have sent a seminar. It's like, that was a year ago, maybe a year and a half, but like how crazy, like a year and a half ago, she couldn't figure out. And now she can almost be like, well, who, who has the better deal? AEW or WWE? Like what, like that's what I was getting at. Like what a fantastic, like way things turn out of where you go from like, I mean, not, I mean, she could get booked anywhere, but I'm saying like for wrestlers in general who are getting picked up by this, it's like, all right, like if I'm, what you want like well, what what do you have for me mm-hmm. do you know mm-hmm. what i mean mm-hmm. what's well, gonna be a better opportunity for my because wrestlers have to worry about their own personal brand and everything of course um the uh oh, i lost my other train of thought for that and something just got detached uh so it's like we're at a rise with a wash yeah i know what <laughs> yeah, a little bit all right it happens at a lot of shows a lot of um, shows Um, okay, now I remember uh, uh, JR because I remember like people talking about JR would tell you, "Hey, go on the indies, do more, get yourself going, you know, do this and this, and work on this and this, and come back, and we'll be interested, right?" Like that we've seen before, you know, and it feels like that conversation doesn't happen as much as it used to. Nick Lendl was one; he went really? down there. You you don't know Nick Lendl's story? He went to NXT, did one of those, I want to pay to do the NXT Performance Center experience. Got an opportunity to ring announce because that's what he wanted to do. All he knew was WWE. Mm -hmm. And they literally told him, hey, you should go find an indie promotion in your area and learn how to do this. And do this and, and maybe something will happen. So he found IWC. He, which turned into ring of honor he's doing boxing at the rivers casino uh-huh. he's doing mma announcing like he's he's now everywhere and this is what he's doing mm-hmm. not with wwe but doing pretty well you know yeah. and then literally traveling all over the but country what a cool resume it. like yeah bullet point like what started you in this well i went to nxt and I, asked them how yeah to. i i bought and as a fan bought the performance center thing like that thousand dollar ticket to go down there right got to talk to somebody Got to ring announce a match at that little, you know, hey, we'll do an NXT match for you in a performance center or something, right? Um, I like, almost wonder if, like, the reason that, like, WWE's doing it, it's almost like a gatekeeping thing. Yeah. With, like, well, we don't want to give away all our secrets when it's like, yeah. Uh, well, then your, your brand's not going to grow because you're going to keep attracting the same thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm, if mm-hmm. you. And I think they're figuring that out between like their performance center and their the UK performance center and other regions that we don't like to talk about performance center. Like they're bringing in like a lot of that. Like you watch, you know, and Mike, I don't know if you watch the rest of the takeover show from from Sunday with the UK, but that is a decidedly different show. Mm-hmm. Oh, day and night. They're not wrestling. They're not making them wrestle. Hey, I know you guys are this British style, but hey, do it more like WWE. I'm sure there's some adaptations being made. Um, and, and you know maybe they have a Shawn Michaels are there like helping produce. Well, I mean the you matches, got Cassius but, Ono. Cassius yeah, Ono well, they got Cassius Ono. Very, he wrestles a very like American style of wrestling. absolutely. Oh, he's very he's a European well, he, influence. He, he, he does he does adapt a lot of stuff, but you can tell he's a guy who's been in the system for a long time, and 
can interweave the the like different styles. Absolutely. Absolutely. But 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 then those are going to start like just like we look at Raw and SmackDown you're like, "Hey, th- these are all the people we loved on NXT in the last 5 years." You're going to start seeing those filled in from the UK as well. So, a lot of a lot of stuff. Mike, did you finish the uh, UK takeover? I did not get Ah, finished. okay. No more on that. I, I will. I will. It's just Worthwhile. Lot lost. I love. I watched a lot of wrestling. The great thing about it is there's no pressure to watch it right away. <laughs> yeah. No. That's like, true. That is. That is good. It was like, hey, here's a here's a nice little tasty wrestling treat for you. Um. Yeah. And, and yeah, catch up Rome on this when you get three hours chance. last night. I would have watched it last night. But yeah. Yeah. If we, we, unfortunately, we, Raw is always three hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you like? Are you going into Monday night? She's like, maybe it'll be half a show tonight. Nope. No. 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 Okay. No. I'm hoping. Maybe one thing will happen tonight. <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm not having this discussion again, as it's we do okay. every Monday. Yes. Victor is stirring the pot. Who's Victor? Victor's in the chat room. Who's Victor? Who's Victor? Victor says, what's better, rise with a Y or rise with an I? They're different. Well, <laughs> I've won an award with rise with an I. Oh, oh. oh wait, I got to leave it on there. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I got nominated with Rise with an Eye <laughs> and won. Slow eating pizza. So there, there we go. On audio. There you go. This is there I. Go. This is T. This is T. <laughs> that's okay. It's late in the show. Nobody's listening. Except, yeah, for, yeah. except for those people. Um, um. <laughs> two really great, um, two really great promotions that have elevated my career in many different ways. Mm-hmm. Except one nominated me and gave me an award. <laughs> it's okay. I worked there too, and I didn't get nominated for anything. You just showed up, though. I You're did new. Just show up. Yeah, I know. You're new. Yeah. You got. You don't have as much to. Well, you wrestled that uh, Flash Man Standing match, didn't you? No. Uh, what the fuck did I do? I don't think she knows who the fuck I am. It, it's. <laughs> it's just realizing it's the whole no, Sam Adonis no. shit all over again. <laughs> No, I, I managed. I know. Uh, no, I know. No, no. Know. The, the, that, she, that's this is me right. uh, she, being she's, passive she's, aggressive. She's, I literally looked at you. I'm like, I've known you for a long time. What the fuck? No, no, no. This is uh No, it's okay. It is what it is. It's all right. It's just I'll, it's I'll just a, a sass part of the show. It's a sass part of the show. Sips tea Fucking on the chat room. You know. Anyways. <laughs> oh, you the best. On that note, I think it is time to find out before we get into more trouble or run out of pizza. Uh, what did you guys learn from wrestling this week? Mike? Oh, boy. What did I learn from Nashville this week? Um, I learned that even if you make Brock Lesnar laugh, he will still take you to Sioux Falls City. <laughs> Sioux Falls. That was my favorite. That's my favorite segment in a while on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Our truth is literally the most entertaining dude on the planet. Oh, my Absolutely. God. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that... He's that per like that's him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like mm-hmm. can confirm. Mm-hmm. Like that's <laughs> him. That's what I think. That's what makes him so entertaining. Absolutely. What about you, Ronnie? Yeah, wrestling. I <laughs> I learned not. I I know I learned not to be a douchebag on social media. There you go. You'll you'll get there. That should someday. be everybody's takeaway tonight. Yeah. 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 Seriously. Learn how to use Twitter, bitch. Calm your Twitter wow. down. Wow. What, too much? Wow. I'm sorry. I don't, wow. I don't take it back. Sorry, Impact Champ. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Badger, what'd you learn? Okay, I got her eating pizza. I'm sorry. Um, I learned that Otis, uh, Otis's Instagram is my favorite social media account. Really? Otis, Otis is so fucking funny like mm-hmm. that man is so entertaining and just like his instagram stories i wish i wish there was a way that like you could save people's like stories probably i probably shouldn't say this because like i've gotten on stories sometimes and spilled some tea that i'm kind of glad is like mm, can't find it now can you bitch um <laughs> and but he <laughs> oh geez like wait, gold. It, it, wait, is this for real, or is he? She photoshopped in with. I don't her? know. You know what? No. Nobody... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is, is, is oh, him? Man. Him? Him and uh, what's her face in the Titanic? Um, really 
There's a Beauty and the Beast uh, with Mandy Rose. Fucking gold. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, is, is, it, is it like what Becky's Twitter used to be? There's the, the notebook. Is it, is, it, the, is, it, is it like what Becky's Instagram used to be? Kind of. But okay, I don't know. I find I remember, it. I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. Never, I'm just seeing this now. Holy mm -hmm, crap. Mm -hmm. That it's more is... his stories where he's like just being. What is that? What? I don't even know how I should show that one. <laughs> I... That's wow. a man right, owning. Let me get into the stories. It's just that's just like a side of beef. I know, but you have Holy to listen shit. to him narrate it because he's like, oh man, I can't He's like, it oh yeah, get the pepper. Got a little. <laughs> got a little... It's only on the dozer show. <laughs> I. <laughs> On a Keurig. I don't know. I don't know if people are hearing this. I might. The outside is a little more cooked, but oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, geez. That's so... just an example of um, Ooh, yeah. ASMR heavy machinery. It's like working out and phallic phallic meats and his dog. No, there's other. Oh wait, content. there's no right. There's broccoli. You're right. <laughs> there's something hot there. Oh jeez! Oh boy! Can't there you go. The Otis underscore WWE on the Twitter if you oh, are on the Instagram. Best, well. best goddamn. Jeez. So funny. I learned. I learned. It's all fun and games, and a fan brings a weapons match until you poison three hundred people with a fire extinguisher. Uh, Holy <laughs> shit! Did that happen? <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, people got sick from that? Oh, people got real fucking sick from that. What the fuck? So there was they've been kind of complaining about it on Twitter. Uh, so wow. Uh, wow. J Rock got a little wild with the fire extinguisher, um, and there was a cloud. I think we we had a twenty five minute intermission after that to do awards and put the cage up. Um, but uh, yeah, it was like in the right in the front row, and I I know uh, 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 Edmonds said his throat was burning. Uh, our boy Damien on camera uh, kind of took oh, it into the damn. face too. Um, there was people. Yeah, that shit's toxic. Yeah, it like, was, he should have given it up one time. Mm. Give it up one time. Yeah, he gave it up a few times. I mean, I was gonna say like just heavy. It's pretty shocking to hear the J Rock. You know, to, took it too far. To be fair, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, you gotta be careful with, with those things because <laughs> that can demutate you and turn you back into a wolf and a snapping turtle. Oh yeah, there was that one time. That's right. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. The... yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. that club in New York City will never be the same. No, Go no. Go Especially Go after the Go pier was taken Go out right Go after that. Go that's right. No, no, Ronnie. Ronnie Fasad's not what? on this episode. What? What's <laughs> Um, oh shit! <laughs> it wasn't have, you, have you not seen the cinematic classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Secret of the Ooze? Me? Yes. yes. That's no. a question for you. Wow! Oh, what the fuck? It's on the what Netflix. What the fuck? Okay, How hold on, Sorg. Sorg, we were talking about doing a watch party for Patreon. Never watched... That's what we need to do. We just need oh, to watch. Well, okay, that's movie. on the. That's on. That's I'm not on, watching Teenage Mutant. Well, that's going to be I'm on Honey. Watching. No, that's a, for for uh, nine it, it, ninety nine on Honey Browsers. It is browsers. It is wrestling related. However, it is wrestling related. However, Kevin Nash is in it. Yeah. Uh, what we'll, we'll uh, label as um. Uh, th th there's there's a better label for it, but if you would like to sit down and watch T uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for me for one of the for, levels of for you. <laughs> No, like with me, with me. Don't worry, don't worry. I got this. I got this. I was gonna say, girl, I can recite it for you right now. Hey, we can reenact the entire hour and a half that's, right now. That, that's I mean, not no, no, I'm saying if it's like you want me to watch something that like I know I'm not gonna enjoy, but you want to try to convince me to enjoy it, like Spider Man, <laughs> for a certain oh. amount of money, I will sit down and suffer, and oh, let you boy. try to convince me that. Which, which Spider Man are we talking about? We talking all of them. Even the oh, Tobey Maguire ones. Spider Man is oh, Spider Man is my boy. least favorite uh, superhero. God, you're, you're 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 burning Where, all the bridges oh. tonight. I don't care. I, a, I just, oh, he's sticky. Oh. Mm, dangerous. <laughs> so dangerous. I'm so scared. Hey, to be fair, there are a lot of people who have been in a lot of danger due to sticky things. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of sticky <laughs> people. <laughs> oh, honey, it's a good thing you. It's a good thing you brought this up at the end of the show. <laughs> um, I have. Many, many pieces of Spider-Man paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you? Yeah. You, better yes. be, you better be careful. Like, That's illegal in the New York State. Um, I, I literally have right <laughs> here. What is he pulling from his crotch? Just... Uh, not, nothing from my... Jesus. He's like, well, let me take it out of my dick. Here, I have a spider, spider cycle. 
Mm-hmm. Um, oh, shocking. I, He's shooting something sticky out. Watch I, out, guys. I, I have the spider mobile. <laughs> all right. All right. I, I, like I have a lot movie. of different yeah. fireman Holy stuff just at fuck. the ready. All right. All right. All right. So hold on. So wait, hold on. We need to. Oh, no. We need... There's nothing to discuss. Oh, I like. Hold she's on. allowed. Dude, she's allowed. Guys, I'd like, I know, she's I know. allowed. I'd like to go home by midnight if that's there okay. There it is. And there's another thing well, that we get Get the fuck out then. I'm sticking around. If I can only if nobody can is only nobody is handcuffing you here, Ronnie. If I'm boring you, no, you're not boring me. Yeah, seriously, Ronnie. Just I would. I can only recommend one thing. Mike's to put watch, me in the freaking doghouse over here, and that would be. Spider-Man and we'll tell you why you're Spider Verse. Spider Verse. Spider Verse. Spider. That was no, a good movie. Like, though, no, like, even if even if you don't like Spider Man, it is a very very well made movie. The mm-hmm. animation is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. The voice acting is tremendous, mm-hmm. and the soundtrack will blow your fucking hair back. Mm-hmm. Are we talking about like, cats or Spider Man? Spider Man. Uh, yeah, I'm yes. sure the cat soundtrack blows yes. people's minds too, though. There was a lot of crying for various reasons. From what I oh, and I also I can't believe Taylor uh, Swift gave herself big cat titties. <laughs> I can. I'm not surprised. Um, I also heard. Uh, the Royal Rumble being described like cats because everyone is a jellical cat and there's one winner at the end. Wow. Yeah. I like the comparison more that Midsummer and cats <laughs> is essentially the same story. <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about that because I saw both of those baked out of my mind and now I'm like, oh, wait, I've been here before. <laughs> Guys. And this it's, is where we get out of here before it's been the sponsors fun. are like Ronnie Starks. Go follow the good guys on uh, on, the, on, the, on the Twitter on the Pro Wrestling Tees. Oh yeah, we got one of those now. Yeah, yeah. I'll post oh, a link. Boy. Yeah, I'll post a link when it actually is official. Official. Yes. And then that way people can buy our merch if they want. Yes. Or don't. I don't fucking care. G- what you guys Gina, do. do you want to plug anything uh, other than your upcoming Patreon? I was gonna say get up in my DMs because I'm trying to get my electricity turned on. But. Uh, <laughs> Honey Brazier is coming coming to you 2020. <laughs> this is the best I outro I've ever Patreon. heard of. Patreon.com slash Honey Brazzers. Oh, fuck. I got to go grab that now. That has got to really be against, that has yeah. be against their policies. Trust me. Dude, I talked to people at Patreon once in person, and they're like, I'm like, yeah, I've been doing this. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's against their policy. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and everybody, and everybody's it. on Twitch watching girls uh gaming in their fucking bras because they're really interested okay, that, in their stats that's not, okay that's not what i was doing but um anyways <laughs> i'm just saying like I, I we're all very aware of like what's against policy no, it was a technical thing mad mike four day three yeah. on the twitter youtube.com slash poppy i don't even know this point. poppy yeah, obviously. Oh, at Sorgatron on Twitter. Please go check out everything again. Uh, we did a great interview with uh, the professor, Jacob Edwin, uh, who's been doing some great things over at the uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance. So please check out. She's played with the dog. Uh, please go check that out on Indie Mayhem Show later this week. And we'll be back next week with the first round, the very first round of Mayhem Mania. It starts. <coughs> He's oh, so excited. Yes. And then after that is coming up uh, Mayhem 700. Uh, a couple weeks after that, Ooh, so that? stay tuned. But it's our 700th episode. Oh, that's welcome to 700 Club. I thought it was like, you know, what? like mayhem like 700. A what? Yeah, like it's mayhem. 700. No, but like I don't know. In my mind, it was like something cool. With... I mean, that's like really cool. No, like that's really cool. But it's like, <laughs> like the Indy 5000. <laughs> Sunday, 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 and like, Tuesday. Did you, did you think we were all going to be turning left the entire podcast? <laughs> Maybe. Tell them. We can. And of course, the podcast dog Wicked also in attendance. We'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time and the time. Wait for the perfect time and the time. Wait for the perfect time and the time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.